Hey everybody, it's Master Gallengeist here, bringing you my review for the latest episode of What We Do in the Shadows, The Return. And this was a crazy ass good one, just, it got so fucking insane, but they did so much with it. Like, we had a good A storyline with what was going on with Laszlo and Nadja, and we got a really good B storyline with Colin Robinson, that was just fucking it worked out, but it also uh, added more to the lore of the world because we got introduced to this world's version of another mythical creature. So, let's deal with that one first, actually. So, through the episode with Colin Robinson, we see that he has another kind of avenue for him to acquire the kind of like energy sucking that he does with having all of these different kind of accounts that he essentially acts like a troll throughout the internet. Now, he says it's not as pure as, like, doing it in person, but it's enough to feed him if he's doing it over enough time and getting the reactions he needs. And then showing us going through all these different things, saying all these things, and I'm like, sweet Jesus, I've met some people with comments and reactions like this that fit it fucking perfectly. And I'm like, yep, that is a smart strategy for him. But... As we're going on throughout the episode, and he's still doing his stuff in his, like, room, pretty much bunkered around with all these laptops and everything, he starts getting into this fight with this dude. Now, at first I'm like, oh, it's probably going to be another energy vampire because of the way it was pretty much working. And we see that he's getting kind of pissed off because he's like, hey, now he's kind of taking my food kind of shit where he's getting, like, his account suspended left and right and everything. And then he's like, oh, okay. He sent me information and everything, and he was able to go through this weird, convoluted way of getting his information, even though he DM'd him and said, like, hey, come here, I'm going to fight your ass. So he decides to go outside, and I don't know if it was on purpose or not, but, like, Colin slips the way he's uh, going outside on the stairs, and I'm just like, okay, that just worked really well, and I don't care if it was, like, on accident or on purpose. It just kind of worked for what he was doing. So he got an Uber, goes to Massachusetts, as we see him drain the fucking shit out of the dude and then go super fast, he's like, yeah, he's been around this internet cafe. And then he got a thing, a message being like, hey, I know you're here, meet me in the alleyway, pretty much you little bastard. And then, of course, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna show him who's boss. And we find out it's an actual fucking troll. Giant dong and all, no pants. And she's like, yeah, what you want? And he, then the, the whole thing is, even though he's a troll, he doesn't like the term trolling and all that kind of stuff and we get into them debating that kind of thing but the thing is the troll fell into the energy vampire's trap of actually letting him talk it's really kind of strange colin really has the ability of like the best kind of trolling shit and him just fucking essentially getting him on the whole term of trolling and pretty much taking his like battle away from the physical and just fucking taking him on that way was just genius on colin's part so he pretty much does that, gives him all this history of bridges and shit, and the troll is just fucking knocked out. He's like, oh yeah, that's the sun. Don't you guys turn to stone when that... Ah, he's like, yeah, I got you, you son of a bitch. And then he's turning to go, and he like had his arms up in victory, but the troll is able to grab him right as he was turning completely to stone. So the troll is now stone and has a grip of Colin Robinson, and he goes just... Just the way he goes, shit, just encapsulates it perfectly and it's like well you're kind of stuck you got your energy and shit and you kind of won but you also pretty much punched yourself in the dick so that was just crazy and hilarious so the other storyline we had which we got in the beginning was we see that Nadja and Lazo are coming back from the talkies and they're just like honestly they shouldn't have really put sound and everything to it and I was just like oh this is interesting getting this kind of thing as they really hated the noise and everything. They pretty much were like plugging their ears and they just didn't know what was going on. They like to read with the pictures on the screen. I'm like, that's an interesting perspective. I, I like them kind of going into that. But as they're like going around complaining about the movie, somebody's talking to them from the sewer. And they're like, fine, we'll go down in the sewer. Nadja fucking really doesn't want to. It's like, there's shit pipes and shit. Why the fuck are we down here? Laszlo using her as like a human shield. He's like, I know you're fucking doing that, Laszlo. And we find out that it's uh, Simon the Devious. 
and he does his whole tale of well while we have interspersed cuts to season one with the whole witch's hat and everything and that had pretty much had the whole nightclub that he had blow up and we see that his crew is just count rapula and carol this weird kind of bug-ass motherfucker vampire chick and he's like holy shit and she's like uh yeah we kind of gotta go but uh you can pop by others anytime and they get back home but of course simon and his crew are there already and it's like ah, shit of course nandor's just doing his hosting kind of duties and all that and i'm like fine carol pretty much wants to eat guillermo and you know, simon's like man and Nandor's first thinking, like, as it is, like, yes, Guillermo, go show, go show her your room and everything. And Simon's like, dude, don't fucking do that. She will eat his ass. And he's like, okay, yes, I don't know. And Simon's like, why haven't you eaten him yet? It's like, it's he's kind of like the last donut in the display case. And I'm like, god damn that burn. I'm just like, shit. So we then deal with them around. Laszlo fucking is not having it and pretty much thinks that there's ulterior motives with Simon. Be like, okay, let's go down here and see if there's any kind of like uh, guest uh, coffins that we've got. And we get another piece of kind of information that Laszlo evidently turned Elvis into a vampire in the 70s and he's been living in the basement. And I'm like, sweet Jesus, that's funny shit. It's like, yeah, yeah, just we'll leave you to do your thing, Elvis. So we're yeah, doing his thing. And of course, we're going around and we're seeing some stuff. We see that Laszlo uh, starts following around Simon and goes, like, hey, yeah. <laughs> he's coming for the hat and everything and of course Nadja thinks the hat is lost but of course Laszlo's like yeah I know where it is don't tell anybody camera crew people and he sees Simon skulking around he gets him and thinks that he's stealing but he's actually built like a sewer trash bat thing as a present and Nandor's first is like why is everybody like freaking out about this uh, stealing thing just cut off his hands and be done with it it's like ugh and Nadja's like yes darling don't worry he's never gonna steal me from you and we're like, oh, okay. Another bit that's going on is that Carol has figured out that Guillermo is a vampire slayer and pretty much tries to kill his ass, but he accidentally breaks a uh, kind of broom and double stabs her. It's like, oh shit, and we see her just dust. And then Nandor at first is like, what's going on? Did you try and make this pile of dust into your girlfriend? I know it's sad, but I, I get it. And then he finds out, well, why is it in vaguely in the shape of Carol? And it smells like Carol's like, did you accidentally kill Carol? He's like, yes. All right, we won't tell anybody. You're a vampire slayer and everything. He's like, just eat it up and everything. He's like, yes, master. And, he, and of course, he's got his slayer skills and everything. And he's got the two pieces of wood uh, trained on Nandor on his chest. And we get this kind of standoffish thing. We did get some movement on, like, some differences with Nandor and Guillermo. There's... Because of this, it's kind of like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Because Nandor really hasn't been challenged by Guillermo on this kind of stuff. And we had seen that he really wants to be a vampire with what he was trying to say to Carol before he goes down, like, the steps and everything. Even Colin Robinson was like, hey, that sounded like Guillermo took a tumble. Well, he's dealing with that. We get a funny scene where he's, like, sweeping it up and coughing and everything. And then, of course, we get to the end where uh, Simon is like, hey, I want to say thanks for your hospitality. And then he really does want the witch's hat. And then we start going in the endgame scenario. He's like, where's Carol and everything? And Guillermo and Nandor are like trying their best to downplay Gear uh, Nandor's being like, oh, uh, Guillermo doesn't kill her or anything. He's like, why would you phrase it like that? But we see that Simon is able to take the hat and everything. And tries to run out the door, slams into it. Gets out there. Freaking Laszlo's shooting an arrow at him. He's like, hey, I caught it. It's like, oh shit, it's in my hand. And then they start going outside, and they start fighting over it, and they start uh, changing up control of the hats. One of the funniest scenes, and granted, it did look kind of comical, but it worked very well, of Laszlo's got the hat on, and he's fucking pinballing around, not just calling him out on his shit, calling him a plonker and all that, as he's, like, bouncing car to car, and I'm like, yeah, this is working out pretty well. This was a really good fight scene effects-wise. They did a really good job of what they were doing, and they really saved up for the big kind of stuff, and... Uh, Simon and Laszlo start going into bat form and start fighting. They eventually go into the sewers where the rest of the group follows, seeing them doing bat fighting forms. Laszlo getting electrocuted and everything. And finally, Simon's got it. He's up on this, like, thing. And he's like, hey, my crew wasn't as diminished as you thought. And then all this crew comes in. Wesley snipes. Now, granted, we didn't get a good look at him. And I think it was just mainly, like, a name drop kind of cameo kind of thing. Eh, 
disappointing, but not really too much. I'm like, I will take what I can get, and that's just funny enough that he's name dropping Wesley Snipes. Uh, this group of Neil Patrick and Harris, uh, all these other people, a zombie accountant, uh, Elvis had switched sides, and he's like, listen, I'm and then we start getting to the heart of the matter of he wants what Laszlo and Nadja have, even though he thinks it's settling, saying that even with the hat, even with his crew, he's still not fulfilled. Of course, this kind of works into the whole cursing. He's like, fine, fuck it, whatever. Just have the hat. Because his foot had infused in the grate and was falling down and pretty much almost drowning. Laszlo and Nadja had left at this point, and uh, Guillermo and Nando are talking, and he's like, hey, can... A vampire die like that? And he's like, why are you asking about that? I'm not a good guy like that. And of course, kind of making fun, but also being standoffish. And the way he leaves the scene, Nandor, is just fucking hilarious. I just love the shit that goes on with this. Especially, like, like the delivery of lines. Like, Laszlo saying New York City in the way he was when he was talking about the hat when he was confronting Simon in the house with just fucking gold. It's not just the line, it's how it's delivered. And we see that all the people are leaving him because he had stopped uh, Count Rapula from doing his rap thing. That's just fucking shtick. Uh, Elvis is like kind of pissed off at him and he's just left alone because he pretty much burned the bridges with all those people. He's like he wasn't fulfilled with all that and it's like wow that's hurtful for them. And that's kind of where theirs ends off and I was just like wow that was a really good episode. I liked seeing uh, Simon the Devious back in and how they kind of worked with him to show his kind of character stuff of he was jealous of Laszlo and Nadja and what they had and <laughs> it was really kind of funny because before Laszlo completely left he's like hey Guillermo if that thing falls off uh, you go get that alright just get it for me <laughs> and just seeing Laszlo and Nadja deal with this completely crazy ass situation and Laszlo pretty much having the right of it uh, of Simon from the get go because yeah, people can change and people can be nice and everything and sometimes they use that as a front to steal a cursed witch's hat that evidently fucks them over in the sewer and gets their crew fucked over. Man, I, and I love the crazy insanity that we got in this episode of dealing with that fucking witch's hat, all the weird crew that Simon had, and then also getting more stuff with zombies and everything and trolls and seeing that kind of stuff so I can't wait to see what other crazy stuff they do and what other monsters and crazy ass situation goes on. My biggest thing that I'm looking forward to is seeing what will be occurring with Nandor and Guillermo now that Nandor is getting a little bit more privy to Guillermo's like accidental vampire hunting days with what's going on with his slayer heritage. It's fucking nuts and I can't wait. So those are my opinions on the episode. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, also like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.